This one app allows you to really clean up your Windows 11 PC's experience with two clicks. It's called This is Windows 11, literally. You can directly download that from GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description or you can search for it if you'd like. Just download and extract the first zip file that you see. The zip file would contain these four files inside. Just launch the application that says This is Windows 11. Just click on this arrow on the right side to go to the next screen and click on Customize Windows 11. It'll show you the build number that you're currently running on and all of the different things across the UI that it can improve. By default, all of them are selected. You can keep them as it is or you can take a look. For instance, it will enable Windows 10's File Explorer, which is significantly better than Windows 11's File Explorer. It'll automatically show your hidden file name extensions. It'll clean up the start menu, reduce the taskbar icon side and move everything to the left, which is what most people are used to with Windows 10. It'll automatically run disk cleanup to clean up some space, which is great. It even has some gaming related optimizations like it'll disable power throttling. So it should allow Windows to keep applications open in the background for longer. I haven't really faced that many issues with apps closing in the background with my Windows version at least, but I guess it's an issue with heavier apps. So it'll disable that for you. It'll also disable a whole bunch of permissions for the built-in apps. So it'll improve your privacy a bit more. So once you're happy with it, just click on this giant fix issues button in blue color and just wait for a while. You'll see all of these windows popping up on screen. Everything goes haywire at one point, but don't worry. Some terminals may ask you to give them permission by typing Y as in yes, so do that. But the remaining stuff like the disk cleanup and everything work great. And as you can see, the start menu has changed too. You can of course restore selective stuff. Like if you, if you go back to this customization screen, you can select the stuff that you want to revert and click on restore defaults. I mean, I can do the same thing from the registry as well. Like if I change the registry value for the taskbar, I can make the icons big but you can also do it from here so i'll do that i like them the way they were before i don't like small things that's what she said so there you go as soon as you click on restore defaults there it is it comes back to the original state i also like the center placement of the the start menu i don't like it on the left side for some reason i think i've gotten used to it after using Windows 11 for almost one year now. And if you're wondering how did I get this taskbar to be translucent, well, there is another app called Translucent TB. I've already made a separate video for it, but it's fairly straightforward. You just download it and it has all these options that allow you to change the transparency as you want. It doesn't work perfectly all the time. Sometimes it just fails to work. But when it does, um, it works pretty great. And also this app kind of disables the start menu on your secondary monitors. So you get the entire monitor empty, which is great. I always thought it was stupid that the taskbar gets copied to other monitors too, you know. Windows has a lot of issues. It's sad that we need all these third party apps to make better use of it. But oh well, at least we have these options for free. So go ahead, try out This is Windows 11 if you are on Windows 11 and let me know what you think.